All right, well, hello, everyone. This is Pastor Greg. I hope you've got a, a, you're having a good week. And uh, um, as we're working through the book of Romans, I just want to encourage you just to stay at it. Um, you know, uh, don't, don't uh, if you get behind a day, don't give up. Just pick it up the next day. Um, ask God for strength and perseveres to go after it. Um, the evil one does not want us to be involved in studying the book of Romans. And so I'm just praying for you, and I hope you'll pray for us as pastors. We want to, to teach through and, and help us all to hear what God wants us to say. Um, but I'm looking forward to you coming, having done some reading on your own, and uh, you're standing there at, on top of a passage you've studied yourself. So we're adding to what God's been doing in your lives. Uh, I've been encouraged by listening to some of the conversations that people have been having in their small groups and, and one another groups. So I uh, hope you're participating in those, but stay at it. So let's keep going. Uh, Pastor Will did a great job last week uh, of taking chapter one. And remember, we're in, uh, we're going to be in chapter two this week. Chapter two is carrying on the thought from chapter one. And Paul is busy trying to help us understand why the gospel is such good news. It's really because we're, such in, bad, we're in such bad shape. And so a couple things that I want you to think about as you come to uh, this week and discuss chapter 2 uh, is Paul is moving on from chapter 1 and he's going to be dealing with a group of people who are going to think that uh, they're okay with God because of their heritage uh, or because of their uh, privileges that may have been granted to them or because of their own personal achievements, their morality or their virtue. Often when I uh, uh, you talk to someone about uh, that classic question, if you were to die today and you were to appear before God, what would you appeal to, uh, to ask him to let you into heaven? Uh, many, many people, when you ask them, it's, well, I've lived a good life. Uh, I've tried to be a good person. I've tried to help this group of people. They might even appeal to uh, somebody else uh, uh, who would give a good testimony on their behalf. You don't know what a good person he or she has been. They might appeal to the fact that they grew up in the Christian family or they grew up in the church. Um, Paul's going to be dealing with a group of people who are going to appeal to those kinds of things. And I want you to pay attention to what Paul has to say to this group of people. Is that really what's going to matter when you stand before the judgment seat of God? Right. The second thing just to think about here is the fact that Paul assumes that everyone is heading to judgment everyone, that all of life, uh, every human being is going to appear before God, and that the only thing will matter, right, at the end, is what is going to hold you in good stead at that judgment. What's going to get you through it, right? It's either going to end one of two ways. And so as we think about that, think about first a group of people who think that they know how to get past that judgment, and then second, what does Paul say about those who think that way? Well, look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Hope you have a good week. Bye now.